This is a delicious glaze. It is so simple to make. Everything is already in your own pantry. And we're gonna start off with just some bourbon. In fact, you're gonna need two thirds of a cup of this. And I'm not gonna turn that burner on just yet. I wanna get everything else in there and definitely do not, absolutely do not, pour alcohol over a live flame. Now, with a little bit of nonstick spray into my measuring cups, I wanna just put a cup of honey into the bourbon. It's nice and sticky, so it's gonna to stick to that ham beautifully. There we go. And just a third of a cup of molasses. This adds great, great flavor. Also, molasses adds just beautiful color to your ham or anything that you put it on. And then we're gonna add just a half a cup of orange marmalade. This goes right into the pan. And now I wanna turn this on Woo! and give it a quick whisk. And you're gonna reduce this by half. Now in there, I know you saw those little slivers of orange peel. Well, let me just tell you something. They actually are going to candy right onto the ham. But think about your turkey. You could certainly put this glaze onto your turkey. That would be delicious. Now, I've gone to the store already and bought a bone-in ham. Now this is a smoked ham, and this is gonna feed about eight to 10 people, it is five pounds. And with this, you just want to cut pretty little diamonds and then you're gonna put cloves inside. The cloves are gonna add great flavor to your ham. So just take your knife and cut around the fat, just like this. And I go about every two inches. Now this ham is already pre-cooked and when you put it into the oven, you need to bring it up to about 160 degrees to heat it. And the reason you want to bring it up to 160 degrees also, not just to heat it so you can eat it, but to get rid of any bacteria that's in the ham so it's safe to eat as well. I'm doing the exact same cuts the other way down the ham and that's where you're going to get your beautiful diamonds from where you're going to insert your cloves. Now for the cloves, you want to buy whole cloves. They have this little stem on them and the stem goes inside where the diamonds are. Just pop it right inside there. Now these clothes are gonna add flavor. As I said before, they're also a beautiful decoration onto the ham. And for the last one, now this is gonna go right into your pan. Make sure that you use a pan that has some sides on it. And then you're gonna take half of your bourbon glaze and literally pour it on the top. You wanna save half of it because halfway through the cooking process, you need to add the rest. That just keeps your ham moist and delicious. And then we will go back in and just baste this ham so that it's all over every inch. And look at these oranges. That's exactly what's gonna candy. And I like to make sure they're all on top. Woo, this is heavy. This is gonna go into the oven. And in just a little while, I'm gonna put the rest of that glaze on there. I want to put the second, look at this, is that gorgeous? I wanna put the second layer of glaze on my ham. It smells, can I just tell you something? This smells as delicious as it looks. I wish you were here to eat this with me. Let's take our ham right out of the oven. Oh, look at this, yum. 